Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our first example of how to use graphical techniques to solve rotational motion problems. Here we have an example where the initial angle of velocity is zero, the final angle of velocity is 12 radians per second, and the elapsed time is three seconds. So in three seconds, the object goes from zero radians per second to 12 radians per second, and we're supposed to find the angular acceleration and the angular distance covered. Usually, the omega versus time graph is the best graph to start with, so let's do that. Let's start with drawing an omega versus time graph, and with an, with an angular acceleration that's down zero, it'll be a straight line. Of course, I'm trying to make this a straight line. There we go. And let's say that this is, represents three seconds, and after three seconds, it has reached an omega of 12 radians per second. And notice it starts from zero radians per second. What do we know about omega versus time graph? First of all, we know that the slope represents the angular acceleration. And that is what they're trying to get us to find over here. And secondly, we realize that the area is equal to the angular distance covered. It's equal to theta, which is what they're asking us to calculate over there. So that's how we're going to find the area and the, or I should say the, theta, the angular distance covered in the angular acceleration using the omega versus t graph. So let's first find theta. And we know that theta is equal to the area. So we can say that theta is equal to the area underneath the curve, which is equal to, since it's a triangle, one half the base times the height. So this is equal to one half times the base is equal to three seconds and the height from 0 to 12 radians per second. So that's 12 radians per second. Notice that the seconds cancel out, we end up with radians, and we have 1 half times 3 times 12, that's 6 times 3, which is 18 radians is the angular distance covered. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Next, we're going to try to find the, the um, angular acceleration, and we realize that angular acceleration is equal to the slope and the slope is equal to the rise divided by the run and in this case the rise is the distance from there to there which is 12 radians per second and we divide that by the run which is distance from there to there which is three seconds and, and we have radians per second per second is radians per second squared and 12 divided by 3 is 4 radians per second squared, and that's our answer for the angular acceleration. So here's a nice example that shows you how to use the graphical technique to find both the distance covered, the angular distance covered, and the angular acceleration, and that's how it's done.